Often patients come in not liking their smiles and not liking their teeth. So when we start to discuss how to change their smile, sometimes I'll take a step back and say to them, how would you like to change your teeth? And I often get a bit of a different reaction because they'll say, well, no, it's, it's my smile. You know, I want it to look a certain way. So I find with digital smile design, I'm able to actually go in and not only look at the function and the aesthetics of their smile, but I'm able to actually place it in their face. I'm able to actually allow them to test drive it. Um, and that alone is uh, a bit of a shocker for a lot of patients. It can be very emotional because for the first time they've seen the smile they've always wanted. And they've seen not just the smile, they've seen themselves speak with that smile. They see themselves laughing with that smile. And oftentimes they will have a little tear and they'll say, yeah, that's, that's my smile. And it's really exciting. We take some diagnostic records to assess where the teeth are currently, to look at your function, to look at your aesthetics, and to look at how your teeth are in your face when you're talking and laughing. Um, from there, we digitally treatment plan uh, a new potential smile. So um, you come back for your next visit, usually within a week or two, and you're able to come in and uh, test drive your new smile. We create a template that you're able to wear, and together we get to see how that looks. Um, during that time, we get to also choose if we'd like to change it, or if there's something else uh, we'd like to make in your new smile. Um, but the entire process is really quite fun. When you have a clear end goal and you know um, what, what you'd like to achieve, both with aesthetics and function, then we're really able to discuss options on how to achieve that, whether it be through uh, orthodontics, some Invisalign, some bonding, some whitening, uh, whether we're doing porcelain restorations or whether we're doing a combination of all of those. Uh, it really depends on the patient and it depends on what they're wanting. I think so often um, we focus on just one option for patients, the option that sometimes we think they want. And it's really a wonderful opportunity to discuss how we're going to get there.